Hello, I'm Paul Weiner, CEO and founder of VisBeam LLC. In this video, I would like to show you how easy it is to set up and operate the Park Daddy vehicle parking system. Let's get started. First, you want to determine the height measurement of the infrared head units that will correspond with line C on the mounting template. When measuring, make sure that both lenses will align with the bumper face or refer to the height chart in the height measuring section of the user manual. Next, measure anything protruding from the bumper like trim or trailer hitches. Next, you want to determine the clearance from the garage door that will correspond with line B on the mounting template. With the garage door closed, take a straight edge from the innermost part of the garage door and place a mark on the floor at the end of the garage door opening. In this case, we will mark it with a piece of tape. Repeat and place another mark six inches from the first mark. Repeat this procedure at the other end of the garage door. With a straight edge, connect both marks. Place a mark at the very bottom of the mounting wall. From that mark, measure off the amount of any bumper protrusion, one inch for a safety margin, and three inches for rollback. Rollback can happen when you shut off your vehicle and release your brake. Next, by using a straight edge, extend that mark up the mounting wall approximately where you'll be mounting the infrared head unit and mark. By using a straight edge, preferably a level, draw a line that intersects the mark you made for the vehicle clearance. Make sure that both lines are long enough for the mounting template. Next, cut out the mounting template along line A. The template is located on the bottom of the user manual. Match up lines B and C with the lines you place on the mounting wall. Trace along line A. Repeat this procedure on the other mounting wall. Now the location for the head units are determined. The system comes with two infrared head units, A and B. Head unit A has a programming switch if you want an alternative channel. To program an alternative channel, refer to the programming alternative channel section in the user manual. Now it's time to power up the infrared head units. Simply remove the battery doors, place two D-sized batteries in both infrared head units. When you power up infrared head unit A, you will notice a steady red LED indicator. That means the system is not yet paired. In head unit B, you will notice a flashing green light every 15 seconds. Next, simply mount the infrared head units on both mounting walls. It doesn't matter which head unit goes on the walls. Mounting hardware is provided if you want to use screws for frequent removal. When the system is paired, both head units will flash green every 15 seconds. To install the RF radio receiver, Simply just plug it into the cigarette lighter power port in your vehicle. To adjust the volume, you can press the negative or the positive buttons. All you have to do is drive into your garage. Once you break the infrared beams, the indicator on your RF radio receiver will turn red and a tone will sound. Once you clear the beams and you clear your garage door opening, the indicator will turn green. At this point, you put your car at the park, take your foot off the brake, and shut your vehicle off. Parking a vehicle with a manual transmission, keep the vehicle in gear or put the parking brake on. With your vehicles parked and positioned, you want to check the clearance of the garage door manually. Disengage the garage door from the track and manually close the garage door and make sure that the garage door clears the vehicles. Now the system's ready for use. By installing the Park Daddy properly, you can maximize the space in your garage by parking perfectly every time. <music>